Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to me today. Um, thank you so much for all you new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. I noticed that my numbers have been inching up little by little and um, even though I don't send a message to every new subscriber, please know that you are appreciated and I'm aware that you're there and I thank you for um, subscribing to me, you know, making what I put out there something that you're interested in and everything. So I really, really appreciate that. So obviously you're going to notice again today that I have only one eye done. So I told you when I showed those uh, dimensions, eyeshadows, the new ones from Avon, that I was going to do a look with one of them soon. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do um, the look from the Sultry Smoke eye dimensions. These are new to Avon. They debuted in Campaign 6, and um, actually I just put my Campaign 6 order in today. So they're very, very new. Um, this is what the Sultry Smoke Trio looks like. I'm going to hold it back a little way so you can see it at first because I noticed in my um, the video where I swatched them, when it was up so close to the camera, it was kind of, you know, the glare was hard to see. So this is what it looks like far up. And then I'll see if I can get it in there a little bit closer. These are very shimmery. They're very glittery. Um, they are super, super pigmented and um, very long wearing. I was super impressed with these. I got the other one um, in Neutral Haze because I got these two. I wanted to try them. And I just was super impressed with both of them. Very, very impressed. Um, I hope that Avon keeps them around for a while. I'm going to get um, some of the other trios too. I just have to wait on... Uh, a couple weeks because I don't have any extra money to blow right now on them and well that's not exactly true I did place an with my Avon order today I also um caught up on the other colors of the extra lasting shadow sticks I don't have so when those come in I'll probably get those in Wednesday barring any uh snowstorms or ice storms or anything so then I will make sure to swatch those out for you guys now my cat Frank is down here and he is on a tear because we are <laughs> we've assimilated a um a stray cat into our household and she just made the transition finally from living on our sun porch to living in the house and he's not quite adjusted to it so he's really vocal about her presence so if you hear these little meows and things running around or something broken that's frank okay so i um obviously i did one eye already in the sultry smoke shadow this is just a really basic smoky eye look that i'm gonna do for you and i'm gonna try to use as little products as possible i realize that you know not everybody uses a base not everybody uses has like eight thousand different eyeshadows to use to integrate into their look so i'm gonna try to you know i was really conscious when i did this about how little products i could use to get this look so so here we go. Now because I mentioned before that these are very sparkly and very glittery, I am using a glitter primer. You do not have to do that, but I would recommend it if you have one available to you because these do have some glitter fallout. Um, the one I'm using is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in um, Glitter Glue. And it's a very sticky tacky primer. Um, you can also, I know there's one inexpensive glitter primer from e.l.f. I have not tried that. I think it's only $2. And also, uh, there's other products you can use, yeah, um, some concealer, anything, you know, anything that's got like a tacky base that you can lay down, a cream eyeshadow, anything like that that it's going to stick to. But I'm going to use the glitter glue. So I have like a really small space here that I'm working with, so I'm going to try not to... Uh, Oh, there I go, using the viewfinder as a mirror, and I didn't want to do that. So I'm just going to put the the glitter glue all over. Now the thing with this is it is kind of hard to blend once you have this on because it is so sticky. So you just kind of have to do your best, you know. So here I've got my Sultry Smoke Trail. And let's see, where did my brushes go? Here we go. I have my e.l.f. just basic eyeshadow brush, which is a really good dunce brush for packing on colors that have shimmer or glitter because they, um, you know, they, they're not like a fluffy brush. A fluffy brush is more likely to let you have fallout. So I'm using this middle color right here and I'm just going to put that in there and I'm going to pat it all over my lid. And the reason why I'm patting instead of like brushing it on is because of the fact that it'll help stop the shimmer and glitter fallout. Okay, so we got that all over the lid. And then I'm going to take, oh, I didn't want to lose my brush here. I'm going to take 
a kind of fluffier eyeshadow brush. This is just a, a Smashbox one I have. And I'm go going also back into this middle color and I'm going to put it like above um, my crease a little bit. So put that above the crease. And like I said, it doesn't flow as smoothly as it normally would because I do have that tackier primer down. Okay, so there we go. And then I'm going to take my e.l.f., which is like a little uh, I had crease brush, I think is what it's called. I always forget. Yeah, crease brush. It's a really tiny, dense head. I'm going to put it in this black color here, just a little bit, and I'm going to actually place it in the crease, going from the outer side of my lid to about the middle. I'll try not to have this video be, you know, super, super, super long. Now I'm going to blend this all out, so I'm not going to just leave it. But I'm also going to take the black again, and I'm going to smudge some onto the outer corner of my lid right here, bringing it in. Maybe a little bit more than the outer corner. Not quite halfway, though, onto my lid. So there, like this. Hopefully they're going to match. And now I'm going to attempt to blend that out a little back with my fluffy brush. Okay, now I am going to take this shimmery, sparkly highlight color and I'm going to put my brush in it just a little bit. As you can see, it's quite, you know, packed with shimmer. I might tap it off a little bit. And I'm going to put it on the inside here. So from the inner corner to the middle of my crease. Just kind of blending it out or in, whatever you want to say. And there we go with that. And then because I didn't really want to put this super shimmery, sparkly under my brow, I grabbed um, my Avon Single Eyeshadow in Pearly White. So it's a true color in Pearly White. And it's like a shimmery white, but it does not have glitter in it that's going to fall out and get into my brows. So I took some of that on my brush, and I'm going to put it under my brow. Just kind of blending that line out here. The thing, it's like a two set, you know, it's like a double edged sword because I really like these glitter primers because they're nice and sticky, but that then it's hard to blend out too. So, so I just do the best I can. There we go. And then I'm also going to take some of it and I'm going to put it on the inner corner on the inside of my eye, kind of like um, on the right in this area here. Just because I'm so dark there, I have a lot of shadow in that area, and I'm just very dark. Okay, good. So next I'm going to take a liner brush, which is a flat headed brush. And I do have one of these from Avon, but I've temporarily misplaced it. So this is one I have from Smashbox. And I'm going to put it into this black shade here, and I'm going to line my upper lash line with it. I really like using these flat brushes because you can really, really, really get in there um, close to the lash line. I don't know you guys, my cat is having a fit. He's just, he's very, he's not old, but he's, um, He's probably about eight or nine, which I guess he's getting there, but he uh, is super set in his ways. And he also is a diabetic, so we have to give him insulin twice a day. And he's made his adjustment to the insulin really well to taking treatment, but he goes on these crazy spells, you know, and I don't know if it's just sugar or what, but with that with that uh, stray cat coming in, he's really, really um, 
behaving like a madman. <laughs> so I'm placing, I continue to place that um, liner, just kind of pushing it into my upper lash line. I've discovered that pushing it in kind of works better for me than trying to draw a line. And I know I'm getting transfer from it onto my lower lash line, but that's okay because I'm going to smudge it out. So I'm going to take a little bit more and I am going to put it on my lower lash line. Just kind of pulling my lid down a little bit gently. And smudging it into there. Like so. And then I'm going to take my Avon Cream Eyeshadow brush. I love this brush. I love it. And I'm going to dip it back into this middle color here that I used on my lid. And I'm just going to blend that out with it. You know, blend that black, put this over the top of it and just kind of blend it, blend it, blend it out. like so. And then I'm also going to take the sparkly white again. Tap that out. That's so shimmery. And I'm going to put it on the inner inner corner here. And there I go. And I feel pretty good that it looks you know, close enough actually to each other, you know, to the other one. And then I'm going to do a uh, coat of mascara. And I'm out of, I'm not out of mascara, but I don't have, I'm, I'm running low on mascara. So I have this one from Roma. I picked it up at CVS during their 75% off and it's uh, the Max Volume Flash Mascara. Not too big of a fan, but it'll work until uh, I get some more. This is what the head looks like on that. Just kind of your basic, you know. So. I would just go through. Give myself a good coat of that. Maybe two. I think I did two on the other. On the other eye. With my mouth open again. trying not to get any smudges that I'm not going to notice now and then when I go back and put the video on the computer or on YouTube I'll be like what that's ridiculous I always try to get those little tiny lashes on the outer corner so that they look makes my eyes look bigger so there we have it. I think this eye, this one might be a little bit darker than the other one, but what are you going to do, right? Using the viewfinder as mirror. Naughty, naughty, I know, but I can't help it. So okay, that's it. That is my smoky eye that I did with the Avon Dimension Sultry Smoke Palette. Um, I think they're still on sale for $7.99 in the... Is it $7.99? I think it's $7.99. Or is it $6.99? I'm so bad at this. In Campaign 7, you can still get the sale price. So um, go check them out. They're really, really pretty. Very, very nice. Um, and if you're interested in anything else I have on my face, I've got my Avon Flawless Ideal BB Cream in medium because I'm out of my light medium. And uh, I did use the Mark Blooming Pretty Highlighter Powder on my cheeks today. And uh, everything else. Oh, and my Avon, trusty Avon Glimmer Stick uh, Brow in Tawny. So everything else, um, you know, I had the, oh, and the highlight color was True Color Eyeshadow Single in Pearly White again. So, yeah. And then lips is the Mark Gloss Stain in Bare. That's right. I had to remember. And then also, if you see, like, if you have anything, you can just take a fluffy brush and kind of try to get rid of any fallout that you might have um you know and or you can put your foundation or your eyes on before your foundation too and that way uh, if you have any fallout you can get rid of it that way so I hope you enjoyed this video please do not think by any way shape means or form that I think I am all bad at doing makeup because I do not think that it's just that you know I watch all these videos of these 
these beautiful women and girls doing makeup and their skin is flawless their lighting is flawless everything they look airbrushed to perfection and I'm like seriously I mean people don't look that perfect in real life <laughs> you know when we go out to the grocery store to work or whatever to pick up the kids from school we don't have um soft lighting on us and we don't have you know this and that and everything else and it's just I'm just a regular person and I know like most you know not most all of you guys are regular people too so um just you know girls that like to play with makeup right so thanks for watching um if you have any questions or comments please post them below and if you want to see these eyeshadows and any other products you can go to my Avon store through the link on my YouTube channel homepage that says my Avon store thank you so much and have a great day